Welcome to your inspirational astrology horoscope for Friday, November 28th, 2014. I'm astrologer David Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. If you want to get all my horoscopes, my daily tarot, my relationship horoscopes every day, and if you want to go deeper into your individual sun sign, make sure you check it out at my website, theleoking.com, for more information, or type in The Leo King on your iPhone or Android store. But before we take a look at all the planets, let's take a look at The Leo King Planet Energy Meter to get an, an understanding of where the energy is for this Friday, right before the weekend, coming off a holiday in America, and kind of a unique day that's because I'm going to be honest with you, the energy isn't the medium position. I don't think it's, it's kind of weird. A moon in Aquarius finishing up and then coming into Pisces. So the moon is void, so it's not easy to get things done. Plus it's the weekend, so I don't think people are really, well, you know, things might not be the easiest to get done today. I think that there's a lot of kind of escape wanting to happen as the moon is getting ready to come into Pisces and then it's gonna start to square the sun in Sagittarius. So the energy starts to become all over the place. It kind of becomes a merry-go-round where things just don't stick and it's just kind of like all over the place. And I think our consciousness really starts to explore all these other dimensions and other places. This is where you're daydreaming, you're, you're, you know, you're all over the place. Mercury has now entered Sagittarius, which is already open. So this pulls our energy all over the place. It's like scattering, you know, a bunch of like salt on a meal. It's different spots of the meal. It's, 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 it's a really odd position for things to happen. But there's a deep awareness happening as you're opening up to these new adventures in your life and bigger visions of things. This is about your vision. This is about your positivity. This is about expanding your life. And I'm sure you're starting to feel the expansion of what you're learning and what knowledge you're growing in. It's time to emotionally tap into, you know, your own sensitivities or more importantly, your dreams. I mean, this is, this, is, this is looking at the other side of the curtain about things. This is also your connection to God, your connection to angels, your connection to, you know, your creative side too. This is imaginary. So really pay attention to this because I think that you're going to notice that coming into the weekend, I think there's a lot of positivity, but I also think that there's a lot of magic. This also could be where you want to escape. So be, be wary of too much alcohol or drugs coming into your Friday. You know, this is definitely a lot of that kind of energy. Um, but you, I think that you're going to notice that there's a lot of support in your life right now and that it's time for you to kind of really see in your imagination today, where more could you use the energy if you had the support? Maybe you need to envision a little bit more because I think that you're gonna notice that there's more to have in your life. And Sag is always about more and expanding more. And I think this is a time that you become aware of where you might be lost of where you're expanding in. That's, that it could also be that you might be aiming in the wrong direction. You might start to realize that there are better places to start to aim. Thank you so much for all of your support. If you wanna get all my horoscopes, make sure you check it out at theleoking.com or if you wanna get a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, check it all out at theleoking.com. Thanks so much and I will see you tomorrow.